Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2235, which is a hard level and a timed level. So I want to explain a few things. In the top, we have access to dispensers that give licorice and question marks. We want to open up as many of those question marks as we can. In the center, we want to take out the licorice because then we'll get access to our plus five dispensers. And in the bottom, we have ticking time bomb dispensers. Hopefully you've seen enough of my videos to know that if you match a color bomb with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb, that's how you're going to get the most points on a board. So we want the ticking time bombs, just not right away. It's going to be a dance between opening up the question marks and the plus fives in the beginning and then working on the ticking time bombs when, when we have to, <laughs> when they start assaulting us. So if I do this move here with the purple, it's going to drop the orange down. It's also going to open up the licorice so the orange isn't going to match up perfectly, but we might get some opportunity to use it again. And I like to start with the center area just because it's easier to manage here. I've got more opportunities. I'm going to hit play on. Notice I just hit quit and then I hit play on and that gives me a, a little bit of breathing space. Now I'm going to try to not talk because my throat is sore, as you can probably tell, and because I want to concentrate. So here I'm getting my plus fives. Opening up my question marks. Oops. That's never good. Now I've got ticking time bombs. But now I've got this. So now I want ticking time bombs. Oh, I should have gotten another color bomb. Okay, I can reach orange, blue, or purple. I see one blue on the board, and I can't see much of anything else. Green, I've got two green. That should be a nice boost for me. And now I can do orange. Oh, I don't have a lot of orange. I'm going to do orange anyway because color bombs beget color bombs. If I can just open this up, uh-oh, phew, I can match those together. If I can just open this up, I'll get points for it. Because it'll hit the most prevalent uh, color on the board when the time runs out. I'm specifically waiting a bit here because I've got these dangerous things and I'm waiting to see. I just want to probably let this go on its own. Oh no, I've got a lot of purple on the board. That should get me my points. There we go. So now I've got all the points I need. If I couldn't take this out, I would just let my time expire. Since I can take it out, I'm going to do this. But now if I can't take this out, I just let my time expire. So that's how I get my points. This was my seventh playthrough for recording purposes. And really what I needed to do is just shut my mouth and play the game and let you see how it operates. Question marks are important. Plus fives are important. Once we get a question mark or any other opportunity to make a, a color bomb by a question mark or by matching things up, we get ticking time bombs on the board. We match the color bomb with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.